Hey guys, how you doing? This is Asamo here, and I've got Paul. What's up, Paul? Hey, brother, what's going on? We have a good day today. What's the day? What's the day? It's the 18th or 19th? Uh, today is the 18th, and today is the day uh, a lot of people are boycotting um, the SOPA and the IPPA, uh, which um, they're trying to pass is basically the uh, SOPA is the um, Online Privacy Act and uh, protect ip act and basically what it is it's coming down to is that you can't express yourself anymore and i know and it goes down to copyrights and all this stuff but then it, it comes down to do basically you know you, you can't even say anything without somebody telling you what to do so mm. i mean i don't know but this is supposed to be a free country and and uh you know i mean the lamb the free you know that's why everybody come in here. As I, at least when I grew up, that's what I thought. You, you, you know, the United States of America was the land of the free. You know, Not, what comes to my mind sometimes. What's up, what's up, this has to do with money. Hmm. Is somebody making money off of this by by wanting to shut it down, or is somebody losing? I mean, what's happening? What's behind this? Who thought of this up in the first place? That's what I like to know. I want questions like that answered. That's Who's right. Who's the one behind this and said, "Hey"? Let's let this be put out there, and we'll stop millions of dollars or millions of uh, the First Right Amendment to be abolished. Mm. I'd like to know who the person that does that, yeah. or who these people are that come out with these weirdo laws, and they, they and then they, and people vote on them. That's right. Anyway, that's a different story. I don't want to get into <laughs> politics, politics at all. Yeah, yeah, that stuff. yeah. I hate politics myself, brother. But you know, any. You know what politics reminds me of? It reminds, it reminds me of going back into the old Bible, into the old the old times when you know when, when Jesus was around and all, before him and stuff. You have the Sadducees and the Pharisees, That's the right. Republicans and the Democrats. That's right. And the same thing happening today. It's just yeah. a different name. They call right. them the Republicans and the Democrats. That's right. But then it was the Sadducees and Pharisees. Everybody had their own agenda. That's right. That's right. And it's the best. That's right. And then we have that in the church too. Oh, but exactly. uh, but if if you know folks um today I guess it's a history day but uh if you go to sites and, and I'll show you for example you go to some sites like um one here and this is a uh, one site instead of getting the site you'll get this and then if you go like a like for example Craigslist uh, you'll get this thing here and we'll take it further and you go to a Google site Google um ban that out sir so you can't see that there as well. So that's what's happening today. Uh, um, we have people in, in uh, I, I believe it's uh, Google, uh, let's see here, uh, Facebook and uh, eBay and a whole bunch of list of people that, that are against this stuff. And I, I think that I think that's a good thing because I think it's time people speak up. You know, it's like we're not, you know, that's what we come here for, you know, is, is express ourselves. And, you know, um, I mean... Uh, you Christians out there, you know, uh, this 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 comes with you too. I mean, basically, it'll come down to basically you can't preach the word either. They'll say that if you name that use the name Jesus, you know, we'll have to take you down. That's how 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 um, involved this whole thing is come that. And that's not even the fee. That's not even the FEMA camp, you know, that we were talking about yesterday. You know, but that's another point. You're bringing up another point of view, and this is not to belittle the Christian faith at all, because I'm a Christian myself. But if we start stopping the rights of everybody else, they're going to stop our rights too. That's right. So, but, I mean, I don't advocate for for some. I don't advocate for other religions. I mean, that's their thing, and that's what they do. But for you know, my feelings of Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, I advocate for Him very heavily. But if we stop, if we stop it all the way around. Then they're going to come to us and take our rights away. So I think now, now is the time to go ahead and step up, so we can have a, a say so in our rights. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Exactly, brother. You know, and I was thinking about it last night. You know, I mean, um, you know, if if you know, Jesus never, you know, shoved down religion on people. You know, he didn't yep. say, you know, you have to follow me or i mean he said you know i mean we have the choice you know if you if you want to believe in jesus that's great you know we're going to heaven if you don't don't that's fine that's fine you have that right you know if you want to serve muhammad or whoever that's fine i mean you know it's that's what you want to do mm -hmm. and that's uh, what that's one thing the lord's always showed me is i don't want robots that's right 
That's right. I want someone of their own free will. God owns everything we have. That's the only right. thing he doesn't own is our will to decide what we want to do. That's right. That's right. It was free. That's right. That's right. That's right. Cool. You know, and I you know a lot of Christians say, well, Paul, you're advocating, you know, for, for all religions. I go, listen, I'm, I want to keep us intact. That's here, right. Our, well, That's I'm right. I'm worried about other religions. What I'm worried about is us being able to tell what we feel about Jesus Christ as our That's Lord right. and Savior. That's right. I want to be a witness. I don't want to be God's lawyer. That's right. God's lawyer. That's right. He can be a witness. Jesus will take care of the rest of those religions. That's right. That's right. That's right. And we're we're, just, we're talking to the Christians now, so I mean, like, uh, you know, right now we have all the different. Uh, if you go to a, a uh, I look at it going into a, <laughs> going to an ice cream store. You know what I mean? You have all the different flavors. Okay, you've got the Christianity, you've got the Buddhism, you've got the Hinduism, you've got the atheists, and you've got the da da da, or whatever. Yeah. At least we still got the Christianity here too. You know, yeah. but if you have a law like that, you're going to have nothing. And you're going to have one person that's going to say basically yay or nay. And, and you, you know, brother, that's voice. what we're leading up to. That's what that's we're trying right. to people up. That's what it's going to lead up to pretty that's soon. Right. That's right. I don't know if it's going to be my lifetime or somebody else's lifetime, but that's what, by, by doing these things that we see on the air right now, the things that are happening in the world, it's leading up to that. That's right. That's right. Leading up to that, slowly but surely. Oh. And you may close your eyes and rub them and go, I don't see that. That's right. Let, let your spirit be open to what's going oh. on out there. That's right. Don't be close-minded about things that are happening around you. Oh. The Lord's download some things on you right now. He's trying to show you, hey, there's things that are happening. That's right. Well, what do you deal with that, God. Well, get in, get in my word and you'll find out about it. I'll give you the history. What happened before, it's happening now. Oh. Yeah, just to let you know, people, this is what's going to happen. Mm. We won't be able to say nothing. That's right. And pretty soon they'll put that band over your eyes. That's right. And then they'll put this, they'll put the shackles on your hands. That's right. The shackles on your feet. That's right. They'll lead you around and tell you where to go. That's right. You can't oh. let that happen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And you know what I want to I want to say um, to all the homosexuals out there. You know, I'm sorry what the church has done. Yes, we you know, apologize. We we want to say that we love you guys. Okay. You know, we may not uh, we might not approve of what you do, but we want to say we love you guys. Okay. That's and this right. this is with just... all the Hindus and and the and the uh, Mormons and and the whoever all these different places. You know, we we love you guys. You know. That's... Um, and, uh, you know, I'm going to say we don't have, it's just like this, brothers and sisters out there. You know, you go out there with, with uh, your friend and they're playing their music. You know, they might play some music you don't like, but you still love them, right? That's right. And that's that's how we feel. You know, like you don't have to like our music, you know. You know, <laughs> you know, you know look, it's weird, you know, because you're talking about this. With the, even the Bible, God talks about the two, you know, Jesus talks about the two greatest commandments. That's right. Just to love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and spirit and strength, and to love our neighbor as ourselves. He right. doesn't say, wait a minute, just the Christian only. That's right. I don't see anywhere in the Bible where it says just the Christian only. Yeah. Love your neighbor as yourself. That's right. And if you have an enemy, bless him. That's right. Well, I think what the Lord is trying to say, listen, you've got to, when you get to heaven, that's all it's going to be there is love. That's right. It's going to be people that believe in Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, but it's going to be about love. And so those brothers and sisters that are that they're, they're gay or they come from different backgrounds of religion or whatever, we, love, we may not agree with you, but we love you. Yeah. It's Christ. That's right. Because right. he told us to do that, to that's love right. one another. That's right. And I and I you know I think I think that's what what the church is missing too. It yeah. is, you know, we're we're always asking, brother, for revival. We're always yeah. asking for the glory of God to fall down. And you walk into the church, and there's and the reason why you don't see no revival, no glory, is people are bickering about talking about uh, behind each other's backs. That's right. They're saying things about brothers and sisters that that that, that you know that it shouldn't be said. That's right. But they 
anyway. Whether it's truth or it's lie, they're talking behind their back. And we're looking for God's glory to fall, and it's not falling because it's divided. That's right. That's right. Oh, that's so true, brother. That's so true. How many times have you, have you walked into a church and you did not feel welcome at all? You know? Oh, plenty of times, you know, that's plenty right. of times. That's right. And I go, what's wrong with this place? Is it me, Lord? Yeah. And it's not because there's others around me that are holding their hands to their chest, looking at we're looking at one another like, is it us? That's right. That's what right. it is is the people behind the pulpit. That's right. People in charge. That's right. And the people that are sitting in the pews are going, what's happening? That's right. That's right. Why is it not here? That's right. You know, one thing I learned from, we both learned from each other, and brother, is that when we when we go into a church, we bring that we bring oh. that part of God to that church. Oh. <laughs> God is going to show up upon us. Mm. And, and uh, if you just turned in right now, we just want to say that we love everybody. Okay. Yeah. And um, if you haven't uh, wrote to your senate regarding this stuff, do it because this this this. This this deals with everybody, okay? Not just a Christian, but everybody, okay? And it gets down to, and the Bible talks about that. It's going to be a town where basically you're not going to have a say. You don't have a choice. You know, I didn't write the book, but it read Revelation. That's what it says. And uh, so, so on that note, we'd like to say a quick <laughs> prayer for yeah, the author. Yeah. Father, we just lift up all our brothers and sisters yeah. from every different uh, nationality, creed, uh, religion, background whatever their beliefs are. And Father, we just ask that you bless them in the name of Jesus. Yes. We ask that you help them through the, whatever they're going through that, and show them the truth, Lord. Yes. Show them the truth about who you are. The only you can do that, Lord. Yes. I don't know where people are at in their lives, but you know where they're at. That's right. And we ask that you bless people out there and you show them the truth about who you are and where they should go and how to get how to get to you there yes. in Jesus. Thank so on that note, we bless you. Yes. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. <laughs>